Hey guys, and welcome back to my whip tutorial series. We haven't done one of these in over a year because uh, I've been busy working on this house and a movie and a lot of other things. So, uh, gonna try and get these uh, finished up. So, today we're gonna be doing the fast figure eight. We have that one, the slow figure eight, and then I'm gonna do a little video on wraps and then we'll be done with this series. So, for those of you that uh, are new to this series, uh, we're on episode 10. I don't know, there, there's a whole series of these on my channel, so if you want to go back and take a peek and learn how to use a whip, uh, you have come to the right place. I've tried to make these as comprehensive as I possibly can. So, uh, yeah, let's get started. Uh, as usual, I'm using my 8 foot 12 plat cowhide bowl whip that I got from Crease and Corral. And without further ado, let's uh, let's get cracking. So, the fast figure eight looks like this. from the side. Looks like the cracker got tangled up. Those of you that watch this series, that does happen on occasion. break that down. For those of you that have been watching this series, you'll probably notice that the first part of this crack is nothing more than a cattleman's. So you start here, try that again, start here, and then as you complete that crack, basically as soon as it cracks in front of you, you roll it to the back and basically turn it into an underhand. But the only catch is it's cracking back here instead of here like it would with the underhand. The underhand cracks in the front. This one is going to crack behind you. Now it's important, um, we've discussed this in previous episodes, to keep the whip in a straight line on the right side of your body or the left side if you're left-handed. If it starts flailing out this way, it's not going to crack for you. So on the Cattleman's, keep it straight in front, and then roll it back, and sweep it up. Okay? We'll try and do that a little slowly. Cattleman, and a loop. Cattleman, a loop. Okay? We'll do that from the side. Cattleman, and then the loop. As you can see the whip is wanting to crack basically like somewhere right here, right behind my butt. And that's what we're aiming for. Crack, sweep it up, and then that basically sets you up for a second cattleman, which is how you're able to combo this one basically as long as you want to. So we'll do that from the back now. Up with the cattleman, and then back, and up. The cattleman, down, back. Just like that. Now, just like I've done in previous episodes, we're going to set the whip down for a minute and use the stick. 
because as all of my viewers know, the movement of the whip gets confusing. So if you use just the handle, you can see the move as it's supposed to be executed a lot easier and quit worrying about what the whip is doing and start worrying about what you're doing with the handle because obviously that's the important part. So, start with the up, with the cattleman, come down, as it cracks, move it around this way, and then sweep up like so. Up, down, back. As you make that backwards motion, you're basically just creating a circle with the handle. So up, down, back up, down, and up. Okay? We'll do that from the side. Down, back, up. Down, back, up. As you can see, as I'm, as I'm changing my movement with my wrist, here comes the cattleman, okay? As the handle passes my hip is when I want to turn it, okay? So all that movement is done right next to my body as the handle passes my hip, okay? Now, obviously, the timing on this is going to vary depending on the length of the whip that you're using. If you're using a shorter whip, the timing's gonna be faster. Longer whip, it's gonna be slower. For you beginners, try to get a seven to eight foot whip. That's the best place to start. Down, back, up, and down. All right, a couple from the back. Sweep up, Calvin's crack. Swing it around. Swing it around, up, and back down. Swing it around, up, and back down. The same thing. Get him! Get him! I get yelled at a lot because I'm the biggest dork in this neighborhood. So, let's go ahead and uh, finish this up here. Now, as in my previous videos, it's very, very hard to do this in slow motion, but uh, we'll give it a shot here. Sweep up. Cattleman's is going to be cracking basically right in front of you. As the crack comes, pull the whip this way and then snake it around. Just like that. Okay, we'll do a few from the back. Very, very important to not turn that into the sidearm like that okay otherwise the whip's gonna get away from you okay it's the same motion as the sidearm but instead of throwing it to the side sweep it up
just like that. Now for combos, uh, as you guys can see at the beginning of this video, you can pretty much keep the, keep the thing going for as long as you want to, just using the fast figure eight. Uh, if you want to change the combo, the, the time to do it is at the top, uh, when you're making the back crack like this, okay? Instead of sweeping it up, you can sweep it over to the side or something like that, you can change it into an overhead crack. And then of course that opens up other combinations for your afterburn. So you can go like this, Like so. It's a little bit more difficult to do that on the fast one than it is on the slow one, but we can talk about that later. You can also turn it into the overhead like that. So there are lots of different things you can do once you get once you get the whip working for you. Down. Down again. And then the overhead. So, uh, that pretty much concludes this lesson. That is the fast figure eight. Uh, next one, we'll be doing the slow figure eight. Now, normally, I encourage my viewers to watch these in order. Uh, these next two, it doesn't matter which one you do first. Some people find that the fast figure eight is easier. Uh, I'm one of those people. Some people find that the slow figure eight is easier. So, if you're struggling with the fast figure eight, you could try skipping to the next video and watching the slow figure eight and uh, see if that uh, helps you at all. So anyway, that's where we're going with this. As always, thanks for watching and have a good day.